The idea of open rescue is very simple. We walk into places of violence and we take the animals out. It's a little scary. You never know what's going to happen. Fingers crossed that it goes as well as it has in the past. Cops might show up. You might end up in jail for a couple days. People might face more severe long-term consequences. There's animals suffering, languishing, dying. What are we supposed to do? There's a tyranny of human over non-human animals. And we have to fight this tyranny in the way we fought other tyrannies through human history. We have a life just saved from the slaughterhouse. ALC is the Animal Liberation Conference. Activists travel from all around the world to get trained and to take action. And investigators on three different continents expose the horrific use of gas chambers. Well, DXC is a global grassroots network, and we aim to achieve a revolutionary social and political change for animals in one generation. We're going to change the way they're seen in our laws and in our politics and even in our cultural norms. The goal is to collect 30 signatures. That's not bad. There are so many things that are needed, so we're working on ballot measures. We're trying to ban factory farming. And we're also continuing to work on exposing these places directly with investigations and rescues. We have trainings going through the possible scenarios that you may face. I'm going to give you information about what it might feel like to be what are y'all doing here? Hey, shut up! What's your name? Dan Let's go. He's going to use the criminal justice system as a platform because who can deny that it's not the privilege of every human being, but every animal, too, to be protected from the most grotesque criminal abuse? If we really believe that, let's fight for it in court and let's stake our own freedom on it. that they prosecute animal abuse. Well, Susie, at the very basics, they're stealing animals here. The example they always use is if you knew somebody next door was abusing their dog, you could go in and help that animal and not be charged with trespassing. It's bullcrap. These people take care of these animals better than some people take care of their kids. We're saying to the world, yeah, I did this because it's the right thing to do, and I don't care who knows about it. Every fight involves sacrifice. If you're not willing to risk something, you're not going to get anything. Two animal rights activists face years in prison. And Wayne Chung, the co-founder of this group, he is facing multiple felony charges. He could end up being in prison for up to 60 years. They don't want the public to see what goes on inside these facilities. The immense cruelty, the neglect, the abuse, for obvious reasons. Nobody has done anything to help these animals, and they're dying. We can fight it out in court, but these animals need to go first. We tried this traditional legislative route. We tried going to the DA in Sonoma County, saying, hey, here's evidence of criminal animal cruelty in your farms. You go to the animal control, you go to the police, uh, and what do they do? Nothing. No video, no still photo. That's why people end up risking jail time, risking arrest. It's just because, <laughs> what are you supposed to do? We're going to Petaluma Poultry. It's a slaughterhouse that supplies for Purdue. They supply it to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and it's one of the largest slaughterhouses in California for chickens. And it's a terrible place, and our friends have just rescued four chickens. We want to go support them right now. And I hope they can rescue some more. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if there are not any police at, the, at that facility by now. Here we are. Sonoma County. Over 200,000 chickens are slaughtered each week. Chickens who are suffering unimaginable cruelty inside this slaughterhouse. That facility had been documented to be violating California laws and it doesn't necessarily take a lot to take action. <laughs> It's really deciding that you're that person who wants to do something about it and being willing to do whatever it takes to carry it out. Fucking swigger. Wow, this is an emergency. She's in horrible shape. What do you see? This bird is very sick and needs immediate vet care right now. Four 
our beautiful chickens out of this slaughterhouse and they're going they're on their way right now to a loving home 17 chickens who were in the slaughterhouse now are doing a u-turn in life and go into a sanctuary after getting some medical care. We are calling on the district attorney to prosecute Petaluma poultry, but instead they choose to prosecute the ordinary citizens who take action when authorities oh, fail to act. we got to get out yeah, of here. You can see this one has blood, oh, very sick, way, barely you, moving. Great work, everyone. Awesome. Yeah. in California every year for animal liberation. You're in the Bay Area, come join us. During the march, I was actually not privy to this. The march stopped at a pet co. And right here, there have been so many investigations showing the horrific and awful ways that animals are bred, transported, confined, how they die in these places and stores like it. Two activists went in there, took the animals, did not pay for them. You know, there's security cameras in there. There was a live stream of it as well, and walked out of there. Animals are not objects. They're not commodities. They're not decorations. They're not entertainment. They're not toys. They're not gifts. And it hurts so much because I can only imagine how awful it would be to be viewed as, as just an object. Our friends have just rescued some animals from that store. Animals that would have had an awful life, that would have been eaten alive or probably died in this container. Thank you for saving them. We take actions like this because not only do we believe in a better world, but we actually dare to make it happen and create it right now. These animals are now going to live the best lives that they've ever had. And it's so beautiful. And no matter what size they are, no matter what species they are, every single one of us deserves to live happy, safe, and free. I genuinely believe that these moments that we have together right now are animal rights history being made. 40 years from now, I think people will look back on these moments as as important as civil rights history, securing the right to rescue, securing liberties. It's just so, so inspiring. Just thinking about where I'm really sitting, who I'm really sitting amongst, you're all Fucking legends. Yeah!